a massive welcome to each and every single one of you. And let's see where you're all from, ladies in the house. So we have got Bradford, we've got Birmingham, Leeds, Sweden, Kenya, UK, Leicester, amazing. Nottingham, Derby, Kenya, Kenya, Rugby, <laughs> Nairobi. Ladies, this is, this is insane. We've got Manchester in the house, we've got Bradford, we've got Greenwich, Keeley, Sweden. Wow, so a massive, massive, we've got Keeley again near Bradford. So a massive warm welcome to each and every single one of you. My name is Mandeep Soki. I am your host for tonight and a really warm welcome to this women empowerment call. I've been super excited about this um, for, for a good week now. And, um, you know, it, it's been amazing because I was doing a lot um, in the background in terms of what I could really deliver to you all tonight. And I am super, super excited. So I'm literally just gonna give you 30 seconds to grab your notebook and your pens because this is gonna be a working exercise. You know, I'm gonna be sharing a lot of information with you. And if I just uh, close my video, you'll see that obviously, you know, tonight's webinar is about turning your desires into reality so that's exactly what we're going to be doing tonight so i, I need you to be in a quiet space and uh, get your notebook your pen and let's really have some focus time because this call is going to be so valuable in helping you to really get to the next level and um, i did mention in the telegram group that we do have an exciting announcement at the end of this call. So do stay tuned because I'm literally, there's so much energy coming out of me right now. And um, it's gonna be powerful, it's gonna be amazing. So do stay on until the end because I'm gonna be sharing something that is so exciting and uh, it, it's gonna blow your mind. So, so do stay on, it's gonna be crazy. I can see the chat box is, is, going, is going crazy, uh, which is amazing. So you know what, it's, it's, really, it's really good to, to have you all here. Now, who is new here? Who is new? Who's, um, who's never been on a call with me before? Can you put a number one in the chat box? I just, wanna, I just wanna know who is new to this call because you really are in for a treat. You really, really are. I can see, wow, there's quite a few ladies um, that are new to this call. So you've never, ever been on a call with me before. Okay, perfect. So we've got, we've got quite a few new ladies here I'm seeing in the chat box, which is great. So amazing. Do tag this on your Instagram, put it on your Facebook. Let's inspire other women out there. Let's do it. Let's really rock this because ladies, look, you know what? This is something part of my journey in entrepreneurship and, you know, women and female empowerment. And I started my journey about four years ago. Okay. Four years ago, just to give you a bit of an introduction to myself. So I'm from Leicester, which is a city in the UK. I'm the eldest of four siblings. And I really had a big desire to run my own ship. That was it. That was my biggest desire four years ago, to be able to do things myself independently and to be able to inspire other women out there. Because in my opinion, okay, and, and feel free to put it in the chat box, but in my opinion, there's not enough of us out there who are promoting about women empowerment and self-confidence and having that great self-esteem and image. There's, there's literally not. And uh, when I started my journey in entrepreneurship, I mean, I have a background in the corporate world, you know, working 8 a.m., 6 p.m. And life was just, you know, th there was nothing, you know, crazy about life. There was no excitement. It was just, you know, go to work, come home, eat, sleep, pay some bills, go on a few holidays a year. You know, it, it was just it was just I was just living. And, um, or should I say, I was just existing because that's what the crux of this is. Most people, they just exist. They're not actually living, they're just existing. Now, my first question to you ladies, my first question to you is what do you want? Write it down. This is gonna be a working exercise. So write down, what is it that you desire? And when I say you, I don't mean your husband, I don't mean your partner. I don't mean your boyfriend. I don't mean your dad or your mom or your children or someone else you live with. I don't mean anyone else. You are with me 
right here, right now. And I want to know what is it that you desire? And yeah, you can put it in the chat box, but definitely write it down. A lot of you are saying financial freedom, which is great. But what is it that you, what is it that you want right here, right now on the 19th of November, literally just gone 10 past nine? UK time. So I'm asking you, yes, you, what is it that you want? Because if you really trace back what you want, you can trace it back to a feeling, to a feeling, sorry, to feeling good. Any desire that you hold, ladies, whether it's financial freedom, a great relationship, you know, great health and immunity. There's so many things, but you will always trace it to a feel good factor. Always, 100% guaranteed any desire that you have right here, right now, whether it's financial freedom, traveling the world, you want to run your own ship, you want to run your own business, you want more from life, that is traced back to feeling good. Now, what I want you to write underneath that is why has that desire not been completed yet? So what is, what is stopping you? That, that's what I want to know now. What is stopping you from achieving your desire? Now, the good thing is I'm going to give you quite a few solutions in this call today, and it's going to be interesting. It's going to blow your mind. But I want you to write down, why have you not done that yet? Whatever it is, Whatever it is that you, 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 know, you put on that piece of paper, why has that not been done? What obstacles have there been? Obstacles could come in the form of people. It could be your environment. It could be, it could be a, a selection of things. Okay, it could be a selection of things, but what is stopping you? Because you can really have anything you desire and maybe most of you are probably looking at me thinking well it's easy for you to say actually I'm in this situation and I'm in this situation well hold on because we're going to get really detailed and deep into this so I'm going to guide you and show you how powerful this really is so write down what is your desire and then why what are the obstacles what are the obstacles because once you know what's stopping you you can then start making changes and very powerful changes as well. Now, how many of you, okay, how many of you have heard of the law of attraction? Can you put it in the chat box? Can you put a number 777 if you have heard of the law of attraction? Maybe you um, have watched The Secret on Netflix. I can see the chat box is literally going wild right now. Okay. Lots of 777s. If you understand the law of attraction, I want you to put a 777 in that box right now. And I can see a lot of ladies. You're very familiar with that, um, which is amazing. Okay. Perfect. So the, the next thing to, to explain is that, okay, what is the law of attraction? Because maybe some of, for some of you, it's your first ever call. A friend's told you to come on here, to be inspired, fired, wide uninspired. And you're probably thinking, what is that? What is the law of attraction? The law of attraction states that whatever you are thinking, whatever you think about, ladies, Whatever you think about, you attract and bring about in your life. Your relationships, your health, circumstances, events, people, every single thing in your life today is a result of you. Again, some ladies are going to think, uh-uh, don't talk to me about that. I did not attract this. I did not attract that guy. I did not attract this. I did not attract this paycheck. I'm here to be a little bit in your face and say, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Now, the good thing is, ladies, is that you can actually control that. You can, we can together control what is brought into our experience. So it's something very, very powerful. The law of attraction states that wherever, I mean, think about where you are right now. In fact, you know what? Let's let's take it a step further. Let's actually do this 
right here, right now. I want you on your piece of paper to put health. Write it down your paper and put health. And then I want you to rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. What is your health? One being poor, 10 being absolutely fantastic, Mandy. Write it down. What is your health scale right now? And this is your opinion of your health on a scale of one to 10. How abundant are you? How good are you on your health? This includes you know, your, your, your eating, your gymming, your exercise, your steps, taking care of yourself. Let's put even put self-care. That's a good one, actually. What is your level of self-care? From one to 10, one being, I put everyone first. I, I don't dress up. I don't do anything. Everyone is before me. I'm last. That's a one. And number 10 is, no, I do me because I come first. And rate yourself. Let's have a look at the responses. Let's have a look at these responses. Okay, we've got six, we've got seven, we've got five. I'm getting some private messages, I've got tens, so that's good. And we've got some ones as well. Okay, right, you've got, you've done health. Now I want you to write income and money. I want you to write income or money, and I want you to write down your level of satisfaction with your current income. With your current income, right here, right now, I want you to rate yourself one to 10. You don't need to share this, by the way. You don't need to share this. This is for you. If you want to share in the chat box, fine. But write down your level of satisfaction with your income on your paper. One being, oh, um, wow, okay, no, it's not happening. I'm not happy with it. 10 being completely satisfied, Mandy, I've got me. Put it down. We've got even got a minus one. Well, thank you for being honest. Thank you for being honest, you know? So this really allows you to start assessing your life, your goals. And it's very good to do an exercise like this once in a while, maybe even once a month, once every few months, once a year, maybe. But I'd say about two, three times a year, always do a self-check-in. So we've done health and self-care. We've done money. Now, the third point I want you to rate yourself on is relationships and family. And this includes, I know it's a bit of a blanket one, but this is all relationships. So, you know, generally your level of satisfaction with your relationships, one being, oh my God, complete turmoil and 10 being, I'm really pretty good state. I'm with a lot of people around me who are positive. They uplift me, they inspire me. This is an interesting one again. People um, is probably one of the most interesting ones um in you know when you're writing it down so I, I need to have a look at this i need to have a look at the 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 results take up got a zero we've got an eight we've got six we've got five we've got an eight seven okay perfect so you've got you've got your self-care health you've got money you've got um and you've got you've got relationships as well and now what i want you to look at okay the fourth and final factor is your level of energy on a daily basis. Your level of energy on a daily basis, what is that like? One being, I'm, I always feel low, I feel nervous, I feel anxious, I don't believe in myself, I um, get you know, stifled quickly, I'm not confident, Mandy. And then 10 being, I got this, I know who I am. I know what I want, and that's it. And I'm, the, you know, I've done me. I, I get it. I know it. A ten. Your level of energy. Your level of energy, please. Let's have a look. Seven. We've gone eight. We've got six. This is on a daily basis, ladies. Daily basis, okay? Every single day. What is your level of energy? I hope you can see where this call is going, by the way, um, because this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. And right here, right now, I want you to write on your notepads, E equals E, write it down, write it down. I want you to write down on your notepads and your pens, uh, clear all drawings, let's have a look at this. I want you to write in your notepads this equation here, okay? Write it down, write it down, write it down. This equation, Okay, this equation is really going to help you long term. And I want you to always remember, if there's one thing you take away from this call, it is that equation. E equals E. Now, can anybody guess what that means? 
Can anybody have a guess as to what E equals E mean? Because it means something. So does anybody want to hazard a guess? Come on, ladies. You're, you're in this together. <laughs> so who's going to go first? Anybody have an inkling as to what it might be? Okay, we've got, we got energy. We've got empower. We've got energy again. Okay. So let me tell you what that is. I mean, okay, enthusiasm, energy. I like that, Sati. Perfect. So E equals E. Write this down, ladies. E equals E is energy, is everything. Energy equals everything. Energy equals everything. The person you are today is a result of your thinking, your actions, your feelings, and your thoughts. That's it. We could end the call right there, but I'm not going to do that. But E is E. Energy is everything. And once you start understanding this, it's so powerful because now you can start doing things to control your energy. And when you control your energy, you can actually control what's being attracted into your life. If you can control what you attract in your life, guess what happens? You can then fulfill your desires. Isn't that what we spoke about at the beginning of the call? How to turn your desires into reality? That was what this was all about. It's about your energy. The relationship you, had, you have today or you had in the past, the people in your life, that you're surrounding yourself with, the health that you have, the money in your bank account that you have today, right here, right now, that is a result of your energy. Now, the energy might be positive or negative. The energy might be positive or negative, but through that energy, you're attracting certain things into your life. Now, if you put tens on those four areas, your health, your money, your relationships, your, your self-care and everything else, congratulations, because you're, you're, you're doing this. You're actually using this law of attraction and energy all the time. See, my purpose, ladies, with these calls is to help you to feel good. That's the number one aim of mine is to make you each and every single one of you to feel good and to also raise your level of energy. Because I know for a fact, when your level of energy is up and it's high, you can do amazing things. We can all do amazing things together. There's massive power within us that's not spoken about. It's not taught in schools. Your boss is not going to tell you. Your parents probably don't know about it. Society's not going to tell you about it. So you have to pick these things up from certain people and information. If you are in a state in your life where you are unhappy, disgusted, you're, you're feeling broke, you're anxious about your situation, you're not happy, you have a chance to change. We all have a chance to change. And what it comes down to, ladies, is this. It's the level of energy that you're giving out. You see, everything in your life today, you're attracting. If you are not happy with what you're attracting, guess what? Change the energy. If we have a look at humans, any human, it's all a mass of energy. It's all a mass of energy. Like right now, I'm an energy ball. Right now, you are an energy ball as well. And we got connected somehow through someone. And this is why we're having a chat today. You attracted this call into your life. You attracted me sitting in front of you here today to have a conversation with you to say level up. Stop being afraid. Stop letting other people control and dictate who you are. And I hear this a lot. I hear a lot from, you know, ladies tell me in confidence, my husband this, my partner this, my dad, my brother, my this. And I'm thinking, why? That's not their fault. That's your fault. 
and they look at me, they, they, it's probably like how you're feeling right now. How can she say that to me? Do you know why? You don't have to accept what they say. You don't. Because you are the boss of you, not someone else. Remember, you have one, I know there's different people from different religions and cultures on this call, but we have one conscious life. So why are you using it to exist for other people instead of existing for you, instead of doing you, instead of looking after you? You know, I met a really powerful woman yesterday. I'm not going to mention her name. Maybe she might get a bit shy. You know who you are, darling. And she said to me, do you know what, Mandy? My number one priority is me, because if I don't do me, I can't look after my two kids. I can't run my house. I'm a single mom. I can't put food on the table because my energy is low. So I am selfish. I said, honey, that's amazing. I am totally right behind you. You have to do that. You have to look after you in because you're the pillar. You're the pillar of your family. If, you, if you're a parent, if you're a mother on this call, you have to take care of yourself. If you're a working professional, if you're a dormant or a sister, whoever you are right here, right now, you have to look after yourself. Wake up. Stop waiting for something to happen or, you know, for, for, for things to happen. Because, look, I'm telling you right here, right now, you are in control of your family, your situation, your thoughts, everything coming into your life. You have autonomy over that. And a lot of us don't think we do. We're just existing. We're existing as a daughter-in-law. We're existing as a sister-in-law, as a wife, as a mother. And we're just there to serve everybody else. But what about you? This is why the number one thing on my list is always health and self-care. Health and self-care. Why? Because if you don't look after yourself, how are you going to impact and inspire other people? If I came on this call and my hair was messy, I hadn't done anything, I hadn't done my nails, I just didn't look presentable, how am I going to inspire anybody else? Remember, people are always watching you. Your children are always watching you. They're looking at you. They're looking up to you as a role model. They're always watching. They're always taking things in. Are you the best version of you? This is why that energy question was so important. But how high is your energy on a daily basis? Because it's very easy for someone to knock you down and burst that bubble. Isn't it? So what I'm trying to say is that your level of energy, your E equation has to be right up there all the time, no matter what happens all the time. Or as often as you can. We're not robots. I'm not saying, you know, 24 seven energy, energy, energy. But what I am saying is as much as you can in that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can build your life brick by brick. You see, this is how it works. If you have a great day, you can have a great week. If you have a great week, ladies, that's a great month. If you have a great month, you can have a great year, as in several months, 12 months. If you have a great 12 months, that's a great year. And if you have several great years, you can have a great life. It's true, isn't it? So when I say brick by brick, I mean really investing and understanding who you are and your power. There's a lot of external forces that are going to tell you that you are somebody, that you can only earn so much, that you have only so much potential. Maybe, you know, you, you've been in a relationship where you weren't appreciated or something happened. But the good news is, is that you can actually start turning things around. You can start turning things around massively for yourself. So going back to desires, going back to, you know, what we were talking about, there are certain ways that you can control your environment. And that is through your five senses. So let, let's, let, let's write down the five senses on, on your piece of paper. What have you got? The five senses are sight, hearing. So you've got sight, you've got hearing, you've got taste, touch and smell. These are five senses that you can control what comes your way. 
Now, this is a very, very deep conversation. Some of you may get it, some of you may not, but this is how, through these calls, you're going to start to really understand about energy and attraction and spirituality and how you can really become the best version of you. Not the mediocre version, not the ordinary version. I'm not talking about giving 5% of your energy to the world. I'm talking about giving 110% of your energy to the world because that's what they deserve. That's what your family deserves. That's what everybody deserves. The best version of you, not 1%, not 10%. And the way you're going to do that is through your five senses. So my question number one to you, sight. What do you see in your environment on a daily basis? Write it down. Write it down. What do you see on a daily basis? Do you see your environment as it is? Or do you see your goals? See, when I first heard this information, I didn't really get it. And I thought, well, what do you mean? I'm, I'm here. I, I can see I can see X, Y, Z. I've got, I've, got, I've got the room. I've got, you know, my desk here, my laptop. And my mentor said, look, it's all about what are you seeing? Because your desire is to have great health. Your desire is to attract more money. Your desire is certain things. But are you looking at those every day? Do you have if, if, if your if your desire was health on this call, do you have a picture of someone who looks toned and healthy and fit? Because my guess is you, you probably don't. So print out that picture of someone who you want to aspire to be like. Because when you're seeing certain things or something that you desire, you're feeding your senses with that. This is what I want to be seeing all the time. You're attracting it on a daily basis. You're seeing what you want to see, not what you are seeing. Let me repeat that again. You are seeing what you want to see, not what you're seeing. Does that make sense? You are seeing what you want to see. You're seeing your goal. Your goal is not done yet. That's, what you're, that, that's, that's what's happening. That goal, whether it's health, relationships, money, it's not done yet. The desire is not fulfilled. So you've got to stop looking at the current situation and thinking, well, I don't have that. I don't have this. Or, you know, it, it's not, I can't see it. Start seeing it. Print out that picture. What is it that you want? What kind of money do you want to be having? The, the, the choices, it's the choices that it gives you. Money gives you confidence. Money gives you freedom. So what is it that you want? What will an extra however much income, how much will that start changing your life for you, your children, your loved ones, your, your, you know, people around you? How much will that start changing? Start seeing what you want to see, not what you are seeing. It's a very, very important concept that is. So it's all about, you know, printing out pictures of what it is you desire. Remember, turning your desires into reality. How do we do that? One of the ways is through sight. You're looking at your goals on a daily basis. And by the way, all these things, ladies, it's not a one-time gig. It's not like you just print it and you do it for the sake of it and that's it. This is something that has to be done every single day. Repetition, repetition, repetition. That is what's going to help you. When you keep seeing the same thing, you're going to start to believe it. You see, you've got good and evil on either shoulder. So the good's going to say, go print it out, you know, go all out. What house do you want? Let's have a look at your dream car. Let's have a look at dream relationship and, you know, this amount of money or whatever it is you want. The evil is going to say, you can't do that. You're not going to be able to do that. And this is why you have to consciously make a decision consciously make that decision that this is what I want. This is what I'm going to see. Let me give you another example. You know your bank statement that you get? Print out your bank statement. Now watch this. Print out your bank statement. Okay, you're all going to do this in the next 24 hours, by the way, if you're serious about success. You will do this if you are serious. Print out 
your bank statement and add on a couple of zeros. Do you understand what I'm saying? Start writing down those extra zeros on that bank statement because you want to see what you want to see, not what you are seeing. Do you understand? This is really powerful stuff. If you start understanding this, ladies, and doing these exercises and these tasks, I promise you things will start to happen. Things, there's a lot of magic in this. Trust me, I'm talking from experience. These things work. They can work wonders, but you have to raise your level of energy. Whenever you're looking at that bank statement, you're not seeing what you're seeing, but what you want to see. Because every time you put out a, you know, a, 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 an energy out into the, um, into the, into the universe or, or a vibration out, it's going like this. You're sending out a vibration to the universe and it doesn't stop. The law of energy, the law of attraction, it does not stop. There is no pause. There is no stop. It is working all the time, whether you believe it or not, whether you, you know, understand it or not. This is real stuff. So I'm telling you right here, right now, print out what it is that you want to see. Next 24 hours, this exercise needs to be done. If you are serious about change, because you've come on this call to, to, to learn something, to understand how you can become the best of you. So that covers sight. That's your first sense, your sight. What are you seeing? Next point, what are you hearing? What are you hearing? Who do you speak to on a regular basis? And after that phone call, do you feel good or do you feel horrible? Because if you're feeling horrible, and you're still picking up that person's call, whose fault is that? I'm just saying. Whose fault is that if you're continuously picking up the phone, but that person doesn't make you feel good? You have to really start appreciating and protecting your energy. Most challenges come in the form of people. Write that down. Most challenges come in the form of people and they're going to say certain things to you that you don't like. They are going to say things to you that are going to kick you off course. They are going to say certain things to you that, you know what, we don't really believe that you can do this. So maybe don't do it. Maybe don't give that new business a go. Maybe don't, maybe don't do that. It's a little scary. Don't come out of your comfort zone. You know, if you have a financial goal and someone might be saying to you, well, I don't think you can ever achieve that. Or maybe you want to better yourself. And, 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 you know, someone is in your ear saying, do you really think you can go to the gym? Do you really think you can lift those weights? Who are you speaking? Uh, sorry, who are you listening to? Hearing, hearing, write this down. Hearing increases faith. Hearing increases faith. So if you're listening to the wrong person or to the wrong things, that's going to increase your belief towards that statement. And this is where affirmations come in. What are you affirming to yourself every single day? I'm so happy and grateful that I experience abundance and an increase in abundance financially, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. This is my mantra every single day, ladies. I am so happy and grateful that I experience increase. Um, my mind's gone blank. I'm so happy and grateful I experience increase financially, spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. And I say it with feeling. I say it with repetition. I'm feeling it. I'm understanding it. I'm attracting it to me. I'm not just saying, I mean, I'm not saying, by the way, please do not take affirmations lightly. I don't mean sit there saying, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy and I'm grateful. That's not good enough. Look, this is you and you. You are sitting with you. So when you do your affirmations, I don't know how many of you have a morning routine. Maybe I might do that on another call. But every morning when you get up, you have to be selfish. Take out time for yourself and affirm what you want to see. You should be hearing your affirmations every single day. Not someday. Not some, someday is not a day of the week, by the way, ladies. Someday does not exist in Monday to Sunday, right? 
So you can't use that as an excuse. It has to be done every single day. My question to you, how committed are you to your success? You want to be successful? You've got to do that. You've got to invest in yourself. The biggest investment you're going to make in your life is in yourself. No one else is going to do it for you. No one else is going to do it for you but you. So if you want to look the best, you've got to start gymming. If you want to be the best, you've got to start putting yourself out there, coming outside of your comfort zone. If you want to earn more money, you've got to start expanding your comfort zones and looking at different opportunities, attracting things, people, circumstances that are going to put you in connection with you having more money. Relationships are the same. What kind of guy do you want to attract? So what are you hearing every single day? Your affirmations are key in this, that you're affirming what you want. What is it that I want? I'm so happy and grateful that I experienced increase. I have abundance. I'm attracting the right people, events, circumstances, situations into my life. I'm so blessed. I'm so lucky. I feel so grateful. I have everyone around me to help me to succeed. I'm around uplifting, empowering, inspiring, motivational uh, people who are going to help me and propel me to my success. I know I said that really fast, but I was in the moment. And I want you to know you can do the same. You can do the same by affirming what it is you want. Affirmations, write them down. If you are stuck on what do I write for an affirmation, connect with me. I'll give you my details towards the end of the call. But let me know. I can help you. I'm not going to charge you. This is free. So, you know, you can actually understand how this is done because it works. Again, you're not taught this in schools or by your parents or in, in you know, formal education. Look, formal education is going to get you so far, but self-education is going to make you a fortune. Remember what I said, your self-investment is the best investment that you can make, the best investment. So things like the, the pictures and the affirmations, these are what are really, really going to help you. And then finally, I'll group these ones together. Touch, taste, smell. Where are you on a regular basis? Where do you sit? How do you sit? Are you at home? Are you working from home? You know, are you, are you still in your, your PJs? It's maybe not, you know, so great. And you, you don't feel like a businesswoman or an entrepreneur. You know, what is your environment like? Because these three things, your touch, your taste, your smell, they make a big difference. You know, think about having experiences. Think about when you enter a certain store and the smell that it has. And when you go to your regular store, that will also hold a certain smell and a feel and texture of certain materials and clothes and shoes. So your environment will make a big difference to your success. It's going to make a big difference to your success because you're constantly the one who's going to be pouring into you. You have to do this over and over again. So all these things, all these five senses, they're very important in helping us to grow, in helping us to achieve our desires, not just making them you know, desires, but actually making them into a reality. You see, because the sad thing is, the majority of the population go through life and they have the same results. They have the same results. Think about it. Think about this. And again, you don't need to comment, um, you know, in, in, in the chat box or, or, or share it, or you can if you wish, but your income, your health, your relationships, what were they like at the beginning of 2020? So last year, January 2020, what was your income like? Or actually, even, even at the beginning of this year, what was your income like at the beginning of this year and how much has it changed? Because probably most of you set a goal to be in a certain financial position. But has that changed? Number one, get to get you thinking. What about your health? Has your health stayed the same? Has there been any difference? Has there been any positive change? What about your relationships and the people you're around? Have you got rid of those naysayers and negative people out of your life? We have to be, ladies, around the people and the women and the guys as well. Let's not leave them out. But we've got to be around the right people. We have to be around people that uplift us, inspire us. Because, look, if they're not, you have to almost limit how much you're we call it a season of separation. 
Okay, and I'm not saying kick out whoever you're living with or you move out or anything like that, but I'm talking about, you know, engaging with other people who can help you to really raise the bar, to level up, to believe in you, to inspire you, to impact you. Because that's what's going to make the difference between you winning and you having the same results. You see, that's the majority of the population. They're producing the same results. I was one of them every year, corporate world, looking for a pay rise, looking for something different. Never happened, never changed. Every year I'd set a goal that something would change and it never did. It never, ever did. And a lot of things changed when, you know, I, uh, well, that's probably a story for another day. But when I started my journey of entrepreneurship and, and looking at different things and, and really investing in myself and listening to certain people, that's when everything started to change. Because I, I, was, I was baffled. I thought, oh, wow, I thought we have to, I thought this is life. You know, you graduate, you know, you, you grow up, you graduate, you, you know, um, get your degree. Uh, parents are happy. Yay. You know that the daughters have got the degree and then you, you get married and you have kids and you buy a house. And, and I just thought that's the trajectory of everybody's life. And that's great. But let me tell you something, ladies. It's not great when you're having to manage a family and you're broke. It's not great having to manage a family when you can't even look after yourself and your level of health, self-esteem. And everything inside you is really low. How are you supposed to run that ship? To the point I'm trying to make, going back to the beginning of the call, is your energy equals everything. The energy that you put out is the energy that you're going to get back. It's like a boomerang. Whatever you're sending out, you are going to attract. If you're sending out bad thoughts, if you're sending out negative thoughts, you know anything like that, that's going to come back to you tenfold. And what's going to happen is the universe, God, you know, spirit, whatever you whatever you believe in, that's going to come back to you either tenfold good or tenfold not so good. So the message is watch what you are thinking. Watch what you are thinking on a daily basis, because it's so important. Law of attraction. Remember what I said? There's no pause. There's no stop. It's constantly going. It's constantly ongoing. So you have to make that effort. And look, do you know what? When you first start this, it's a bit of a process. OK, it's not going to happen like that. You know that you, you, you've got the call and you know, you, you, you've been part of this call and it's all just going to happen. This takes time. It takes practice, discipline, patience. But I promise you, if you keep showing up, if you keep doing this, if you keep understanding this, plugging in, ladies, it is going to be sensational. You are all we are all going to be completely on a different plane this time next year. It's going to be it's going to be completely different. You will not be the same person. The best thing about, you know, these journeys, the best thing about doing these calls is that we get to see each other grow. You know, we get to see each other grow. And it is amazing. The changes that I've seen in, in, in women from all walks of life is absolutely sensational and massive respect to each and every single one of you for making the effort to plug in tonight. It's been a real pleasure. Honestly, I've, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed delivering this call, ladies. and. Um, just to finish off, I did say that there was a, a very, very big announcement. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I don't have the, the flyer ready yet. But, 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 okay, for those of you who are in the UK, this is this is a biggie. Um, if, if you're outside of the UK, of course, you, you're more than welcome. But write this down in your diaries, ladies, Saturday, the 11th of December. Saturday, the 11th of December in Birmingham, we are having our first women's event. OK, so this is going to be completely huge. Um, you know, this is one of our first and we're very, very excited about this. I'm super, super excited. It is going to be sensational. The link is going to be released soon so you can get your tickets. It is going to be off the chain. So you really, really want to get your hands on that as soon as possible. I am preparing the Eventbrite link as we speak. So, you know, do keep an eye out for that. You want to make sure that you're plugged in. Every single one of you, you need to be at this event. 
Saturday, the 11th of December in Birmingham. The venue and the times will be confirmed. But trust me, you do not want to miss this because this is going to be a solid day. OK, it's going to be a full day of training. You're going to have workbooks. It's going to be it's going to be amazing. It's going to be sensational. You do not want to miss this because this is really going to help do the work we've done in tonight's call on a much bigger scale. OK, on a much bigger scale because you're going to have access to a lot of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, you know, post this. Uh, recording on YouTube. I'm also going to, um, hopefully I can put it on my um, Instagram and, and my Facebook. So do connect with me there. I do appreciate on the Telegram channel, um, you, you can't send messages. So if you want, you can connect with me um, on my Facebook. I will actually just put my uh, details up here. So let me just do that right now. So my Facebook, if you would like to connect, is... Um, uh, Mandy Soki and my Instagram is Mandy underscore Soki. OK, so there is where you can connect with me. I'd love to have your feedback. You know, any questions that, um, you know, anybody has you'd like to discuss further. I'm always here to help you, to guide you, to support you. Um, so do let me know because it's always great to receive feedback. But ladies, honestly, we really are the ones that run the world. Let's get out there. Let's smash it. Have an absolutely cracking, cracking evening. And I will see you all soon. Thank you so, so much. And I'll see you all soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.